B-Side Word. Hello guys and welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world and we share our thoughts and opinions on second page news. My name is Maxi. I'm sat here with Dev. Hello. Emma. Hey. CJ. Hello. And Alex. What up? And today I believe we're going to start with Emma's article. Woohoo! Okay, so this article is very timely just because we've had a royal baby. Um, actually, I picked this article before we knew the name of the baby and the name of the baby is awesome because it's the same as one of my kids, Archie. But the article is about <laughs> royal surnames and... Because Dev asked me, what's the, what's Prince Harry's surname? <laughs> and I go, I actually don't know. So I, I looked it up and I'm thinking, how many people actually do know what their surnames can, can, are? Can I say about the conversation? I now? know what my surname is. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I asked Emma, I go, what, what is Prince Harry's um, surname? And she goes, I don't know. I go, because they always say Meghan Markle, but they always say Prince Harry. They never say Prince Harry surname, whatever the surname is. Windsor. Right. <laughs> so apparently, it's only me and Emma that don't know the last oh. names. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, I think I know how. Isn't it Windsor? Well, Windsor the castle? It's own, that's only half right, you see. So, okay, actually, it's not right. Well, technically, I guess it is. Uh, hold on here. How can it be technically <laughs> not right and right okay, at the same time? So, I looked into it a bit more. If you have, if you're lucky enough to be a royal with a title, as in HRH, his Royal Highness, Her Royal Highness, right? Then you technically yeah. you don't you don't have a surname, so it would just be His Royal Highness Prince Harry of. Well, it was Wales. Windsor. Was it or Wales whatever. before? Oh, we- I don't know. So does that or- mean does that mean Madonna's uh, Her Royal Highness? <laughs> 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 yeah. there's, there's a few people with just one name, eh? Um, and then. But sting. then if you don't Your have Royal a title, Highness, sting. Oh, HRH Sting. <laughs> sting. <laughs> Prince Sting. Um, <gasps> if you don't have the title, then you have your surname. So like some of the cousins or whatever like that would have their surname. But technically okay. their surname is Mountbatten Windsor. Because it's like the Queen and Prince, what is it? Philip. Philip merged their names, right? Sixty odd years ago. But what's kind of cool is obviously that's not very like, you know, efficient to be constantly saying, oh, hi, your Royal Highness, blah, blah, blah. Like imagine little baby Prince George, right? At daycare for the roll call, they wouldn't be like, his Royal Highness, Prince George of Cambridge, right? So (laughs) in that instance, what they do is (laughs) is say George and then the surname is just Cambridge. So... Prince Harry and Prince William just used the surname Wales when they were growing up. So they were like Harry Wales, uh, William Wales, right? Wales? So, yeah, because um, Prince Charles is Prince Charles of Wales. Like that was his like okay. area or whatever. Ah, so then I was called. thinking, well, what's this baby going to be called? Because now Harry's got a different title when he got married. So he wasn't Wales anymore. He's Sussex and they were saying baby Sussex. So it could have been Sussex, but no, they went with. Um, Mountbatten Windsor, didn't they? Mountbatten Windsor. That was like so interesting. Be, that What's is a the, terrible, that's the, a terrible hyphen. The full name? The Mount full Batten baby's Windsor. name? The full baby's what name? Is it? He's got ha- Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, which they say is like, oh my gosh, because usually the royals have at least four names before the surname and he's only got his first and middle. Uh, I like the, Har- like, <laughs> someone Harrison. pointed out to me Harrison, Harry's son. Ha- oh! <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Harry's son. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. <laughs> it's, is that why they've it, done it? I think so. Isn't it? In, in like Scandinavian countries, it's very traditional to have that. Like you have yeah. the name and then son. So I imagine it sounds about right. I thought it was like someone pointed out to me and I was like, huh. That's no way you blow my mind. I was thinking like Harrison Ford, Megan's like, or is it Megan? <laughs> Megan's like a celebrity. She might be a little nod to Harrison Ford. There you go. <laughs> Told you I'd name him after if, you. If you have another kid and it's a boy, Ernest son or Ernest. Devinson or Devinson. <laughs> Devinson. Devinson. That's a cool Devinson. name. Devinson. Oh my God. Devinson. 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 I like Devinson. we're discussing this. Like, are you planning on another no, son? No. 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 no, 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 no. They no. are now. I just put, I just put in the head. <laughs> Nay. Is, there, is there a version for daughters or not? In so in Dottier. Iceland, it's um, son and dotir. 
Oh, Which means if you have, and when you marry, you don't take Emitted their name. Two. So mm-hmm. let's yeah, say uh, Ernest, Emma, and say you had two kids, um, you'd all have different surnames. Oh. Because Ernest would be um, whatever his dad's name is, son at the end. What's your dad's name? Why don't I know this? Ernesto. Ernesto. So you'd be Ernesto-son. Ernest Ernestoson. Yeah. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Emma would be Emma Tony's dot here. <laughs> and then say like say like Aiden. Aiden would be Aiden Ernestson. And then if you had a daughter, it would be whatever Ernest Dotia. Oh. Oh. It's, no way. Name, not, it's not it's always the dad's name. It's the dad's name followed by son or daughter. Son. So you'd so always that, have that'd be complicated if, after a while. If you have yeah. a few generations. Yeah, if you have parents and then yeah, two, a boy and a girl, you'd all have different surnames. Wow. That's cool. Well, the, the kids will have the same surnames. Only well, if, no, they're if they're the same. Boy a oh, boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same sex. Oh. Same surname, huh. that, that, that's cool. But I also it will get confusing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Is, uh, the son, 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 son. You'd be I Ernest. Mean, you would, Ernest. You would know where. You'd know where your who the male was for when it came through. Yeah, like, when that's we get, true. When we get male growing up, me and my dad have both a Stewart. Well, oh. both him and his dad have the same first name, basically. Yeah. yeah. We, our bills at um, our telecommunication, we always used to get mixed up. They'd always swap our contracts over. I'm like, no, that's not me. Do I look like I'm born in like 65? <laughs> you made us the goofy age. <laughs> Even you two, to be fair, because you're both the Ela Gatsby. Yeah, oh, true. I thought you meant we, we look the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, that's in true. My, my brothers are all, their names Marcus, Mikey, Maxi. So when we used to get oh. posted and it would say M. Earl, we'd all... Uh, it's we'd mine! Like it. And my older brother would always, he was, he was once allowed to open it first because he had the most important mail, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and then I was to open it and I'd be like, nope, not for me. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Well, that being said, I didn't open it after Mikey yeah, opened it. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, he opened it first. <laughs> but it went down the pecking list. <laughs> okay, so when so Mikey moved out, I took on responsibility for opening all mail. I was like, yep. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the youngest always this, get screwed over. Like, they don't get anything. They get everything. Yeah, too right. Oh, stop so what, The it. little ones. They get everything. The little ones, like... Aiden goes, I'm in charge of you and Nate. And then Nate's like, yeah, but I'm in charge of Archie. And then Archie's just like, hmm? who, like, who am I in charge of? No one. <laughs> hmm? That's funny. I got a mail once and it said, because Mac- Maxie is like a girl's name as well. I got a, a, a letter which said like, dear Miss Maxie Earl. Oh. And my sister, my younger sister, who's like at the time was about eight years old, picked it up and it was the funniest thing that ever happened in her life. <laughs> like, there was nothing funnier than somebody sending posts and calling me a girl. Like, that was to her. She's like, Maxie! Ah, oh look at my this. God. Yo, is, is, Max, is Maxie a female name? I've d- I didn't know that. Is it a girl's uh, name? I don't know. It, it can be. Yeah, Maxine. I'll be thinking Maxine. 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 Yeah. Maxine. Is Maxie yeah, your actual know. name or Max? Or it's actually Maxie? Is actually Maxi. Mm, there you go. I feel like Archie will get asked that when he gets to oh, I, like twenty five. Is it Archie or what? is it short for? I've something? had people ask me that already. Go, no, it's not Archibald, just Archie. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know. I only know an Archie. What's the longer version of Archie then? Archibald. Archibald. Archie Bold. Very oh, English yeah, name. I've heard that. <laughs> You're like Archie Bold. <laughs> <laughs> Is he no, named after his dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, hey. Hang on a sec. <laughs> Talking about um, the royals, though, I read, I saw this other thing. This woman in like America, Houston, maybe, she did six hours of surgery to, she had like some, or six procedures or something to try and look like Meghan Markle. What? Hold on. It's crazy when they take in a picture was this of pre was one this minute pre, warning. Pre was this pre um baby. No, pre married like pre royal. No, or, like, no, no, no. So this is since she's become a royal. Yeah, she's just like I, I want to look like around. her. <laughs> Takes in a picture, Tony. Make me look like her. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed that even at work, some some of the ladies beforehand were pretty, and they've come back with like new faces. What? 
at your work. <laughs> yeah, like one of them kind of freaked me out a bit because I thought she was very attractive in the beginning. Yeah. And then she came out oh. and I was like, hi, how are you? With a big smile on. I was like, man, who the hell are you? Oh, <laughs> wow. Man, you changed. See, yeah, you changed. Good. <laughs> you got a, did you get a haircut? Is, you, there's something different about it. Is it? Yeah. That's you, dye, like... you dye your hair? What's happening over there? The TV ad where you see the person open the door and walks in and just like stops like, oh, did you get something done? And then it... <laughs> And the camera goes to the woman and her face is upside down. <laughs> is that uh, the Ikea? No, to I don't know what about. it is. I don't know what it was for. Oh, yeah, that's the Ikea I reminder. Think it was an Ikea oh, Aldi, ad. no, the Aldi oh, reminder. Aldi. Aldi reminder. And she goes, so oh. she switches her whole face to remind her that the Aldi specials are coming out. Yeah. So she doesn't forget. No, no, this that... lady got her face like pulled back. Like someone grabbed sounds... the back of her head and just pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> and her lips would just come out like about four meters. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mate, she was pretty before. How old is she? Play my listening. age. Oh. If, if she's listening, swear that you were way prettier before. Oh, <laughs> you had a shot, oh. Renee. Oh. <laughs> I, I'd rather got a bit alone. Oh, <laughs> I'm You're setting yourself up for failure, Siege. <laughs> so, you know, savage. Roy, what is it? What's HRC? What? HRH. HRH. Her royal, her, her royal, her royal highness. highness his so, royal highness. so I was thinking of um. Just to end this, I was thinking of uh, coming to America, and he's in the bathing, yeah. he's in the bathing pool, and he like <laughs> all of a sudden this lady comes up and she looks at him and goes, "The royal penis is clean, your highness." <laughs> 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 well, okay, yeah, Dev. Let's go with you next, I reckon. Hit me up, Ems. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Right, your article is about Tourette's. Life with Tourette's. Yeah, I think this guy that has Tourette's syndrome uh, wrote this article just to sort of give a little bit of an understanding about what it's all about. Um, uh, have, I've never ever, th like a person with Tourette's, I've never ever, I just... Like, I don't say, I'm not saying I laughed at them. What? But, like, there's comedians with Tourette's, and, like, my only association is with that comedian that's okay. Tourette's. Yeah. And uh, I just found it interesting of a person, the person, I'm not going to, the person with Tourette's and how they live their life. Remember that dating, that dating show where the guy had Tourette's and he was going for his first date? And he was having oh, the date okay. and he was swearing during the date. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what would he... Anyways, continue. Yeah, no, what? I, th I was like, this guy's freaking brave oh. to like put him through. Like, because when you go on dates, you're putting yourself out there. Yeah. And there was the guy that was the, on X Factor or something as well. Yeah, the that, voice. Uh, yeah. The, the voice. voice. The young kid, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this guy is just trying to... So just an overview of his life. He was nine years old, holidaying with his parents. So this is back in 1995 before it was like sort of more widely known um and he just started twitching first it was like his head um and then his parents took him to all sorts of places nothing worked and he was eventually um diagnosed with Tourette's um but he was trying to sort of say that it's such a difficult concept or like for people that don't have Tourette's to grasp and even with people with Tourette's they can't even grasp other people's tics that they don't have themselves but I didn't know this I learned a really really like interesting fact i thought tourette's was just like the ticks or whatever but something that they just did for like randomly right he actually says he feels a sensation and that's why he has that certain tick to try and relieve that sensation oh. so oh. he goes he goes and he said it's very difficult to explain he goes imagine you've got a you've got a, you know a mozzie bite and it's really itchy or um, you've got sunburn or something and you try and explain that sensation to someone that has no idea about anything of this, like an alien, let's say. How do you explain that? So he says like one of his twitches is in his foot um, and that's because he has this weird sensation on like the end of his toe and if he taps his foot a certain way, it, it then brings pressure and relieves that sensation. Hmm. Or sometimes he has a feeling of, like an empty void and he has to sort of fill that somehow by doing a so certain So you tick. said that um, nine years old is when he first, uh, this first happened? Yeah. 
so it just develops over time. Yeah. It's not a. Because quite a lot of kids can get like um, movements, ticks, or something like that, but they don't diagnose it until you've had it for a year and then you have to have one movement and one vocal tick. So vocal can be like, you know, when you hear people like clearing their throat, that's a really common one. Um, not just like you and I just clearing our throats, but like common, like constantly, constantly clean. clearing their throat. Um, and then one movement, one, it has to be for over a year. And that's, that's basically the criteria for being diagnosed. But a lot of people obviously ha then they sort of increase their ticks and, in certain situations like stress or something, it can increase the like frequency of them as well. Oh, man. It's, it's like, but it's crazy. Hey. So do they know why it develops? The Tourette's develops? No, they have no idea that all they know, it's like a neurological thing. But besides so, okay, that, it's neurological. Yeah, it's neurological, but they don't know. That's all they know, <laughs> basically. And there is certain medications that help it. But, the medications are you are not medications for Tourette's. They're medications for other things that just so happen to help with Tourette's. the symptoms. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, with these guys, like the ones that they get this, and I don't know if you're going to be able to answer this, but when they have this sort of un, like, what's the word? Insatiable? Is that like this in real strong need mm. to do it? Like in the same way that sometimes, you no know, one like you get if you have a mosquito bite and it itches. And you know it's getting worse every time you itch it, but you just can't help yourself. Yeah. But I can, like, if I really, really, really focus, I can suppress it. So I mean, like, I can... With Tourette's, you know if it's possible if they're like, I'm going to just, for the next 20 seconds, I'm going to try my hardest to stop it. Is that possible? Or does it just, like, is it, like, subconsciously you're just like... Wah. Um, They could probably try to suppress it, maybe, but it would be very difficult, I think. It, yeah, I, just, I was just curious for me it was curious as the difference between was it a conscious thing that they know i'm going to do this in a second i'm going to do this in a second and then they do it oh or no is so, it like a sub, so subconscious that they don't even like it surprises them like oh it got like, do you know what i mean like it got me yeah again. i think it's a bit maybe a bit of both because this guy said uh he was doing something i can't remember what it was and he didn't know he didn't know he was doing it until others sort of told him he was doing it um also they're not aware some maybe some of the things that they do they're not aware maybe some of the things they do they're doing it because they have a sensation and then they're doing it because they want to as but like, i, relieve I don't that. think i have Tourette's, but like when i watch tv for instance i i all and i do and when I'm, i see myself watching back on this podcast like i move my uh eyebrows and my neck a lot like just for reasons i don't really know but when i'm like when i think about it i know i'm doing it but when i'm watching tv i'll be just like put my eyebrows up and down all the time Oh, and then Melody sat TV. there like, "Why are you moving your eyebrows for?" I'm like, "Oh, was I? Like, I didn't." Even... <laughs> I noticed that you do that. You move your eyebrows, but I did. But like, I thought that was you thinking. <laughs> Just mm, like hmm, I think a lot. I'm thinking. But because the thing is, I at work. If I'm at work and I have like a tough day, or uh, if I'm doing certain type of activities, and I do that, I do use my eyebrows a lot, or my uh, necks. I've been moving my neck a lot. Then by the end of the day, like aches. I'm like, bloody hell, I've been. Yeah. Like, I don't even notice what I was doing at the time. I'm just my eyebrows are aching because I've been like frowning so much. And that's what this guy yeah, said. He would go to bed every night and have to put like an ice pack, or he wouldn't be able to even like. He, he'd be so sore and stiff and achy from all his movements. So sad. Uh, do, so, so they don't have Tourette's when they sleep, do they? I have no idea. Like, but then in saying that, like this, the the guy on the Voice, he didn't have it whilst he was singing. Yeah, yeah. It was only whilst he was talking. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, they? maybe he had, didn't have Tourette's. Maybe he had a stutter. Yeah, Tourette's. He had Tourette's. Oh. He had to do his movements. Oh, uh, yeah. So when he was singing, he was fine. So maybe it's like also a thing tied in with anxiety. Actually, it is. It says that a lot of people with Tourette's often have other things. So a lot of people have anxiety. A lot of people have OCD or depression. Um, something else uh, I can't you know, remember. You know how, it's, like, I guess things like like use mental health for example it's coming out more as this thing like oh we thought it was black and white but it's more gray it's spectrum kind of thing like this like and what max was saying makes me think this is quite a spectrum driven thing yeah yeah and it, it, it what it makes me think is what we baseline as quote unquote normal or average is average actually a case where everyone is has some form of something somewhere, probably several forms of different things to some extent. 
and we've just said actually like an average or normal is people who have absolutely no mental conditions no physical conditions like that's normal but mm -hmm. it, it like do you reckon there's anyone who is that who has nothing no <laughs> <laughs> i don't reckon anyone has nothing uh everyone has something everyone but that surely. changes that changes the entire perspective of I guess how we've perceived people historically. When well, that goes like, with with Maxi. What Maxi was saying with statistics, like the average, the average yeah. human being. Like yeah. there might be like superhumans on the other spectrum, and they've just averaged it out. And then, <laughs> <So> <laughs> are you um like maybe suggesting then that we all have like Tourette's is something that we all kind of have, and some people have it more than others? Is that what you're saying? To, to some extent. Because I was thinking like, of a good one. Like, do you, do you guys click your knuckles or your hands or anything? No, but I do I this weird I, thing it with. Me out. I do. I when there's like TV or or music or something, I like move my toes like to play like I'm playing a piano. <laughs> oh really? You, your toes? Yeah. You play a piano <laughs> with your toes. <laughs> what? Wow, that's a skill. Can Emma, we please get Emma a foot piano? Emma is, very, <laughs> Emma is very very talented, like musically. She is and extremely. Toes. No, no, like she can play. She can play instruments. She can she sing. But her feet. Yeah. But she doesn't show any of it to anyone. It's Wait. like a secret. It's a secret. You just what? just her toes come out now and again. Yeah. Yeah. See them. yeah. I need to see. But I, also I another see, one is. So what do I, oh, I like put my jaws together and like, like. Clint. Bite down. Yeah, on either side. Like, I don't know. One minute warning. Do you, well, why did you say, why did you bring up the knuckles, Maxi? Knuckles? Cracking of the knuckles. I, I, I mean, I was just trying to give you something you can relate to. Like, if, yeah. if people who normally clip their fingers, if you hear somebody else do it, it makes you want to do it. Oh. Like, you're like, oh, now it's time for me to have that feeling as well. And even talk about it now, like, I'm thinking about it. But yeah. I've I think so. I've done it knuckles. recently. I I used to what? um I used to for fidgety uh for fidget things I used to bring three poker chips around and practice practice all my all the tricks on the poker thing and I I I'd never I didn't know I was doing this but when I'd go out to dinner I'd be like checking the cards <laughs> like I'd be True the motion story. of checking the True cards story. like yeah. Emma go what are you doing uh nothing and I'd be like literally <laughs> just putting my fingers together to say check out two cards. And I'm like, oh shit! And this I'm just one, he do, because he's yeah, like getting rid of his cards. I'll be flicking it in. I'll be flicking <laughs> the cards in. This would be my like, just because I was so used to doing that action, and I'd be like, man, we we played wow. way too much poker for that. Way, happen. way too much. Way too much. Man, I, that's in, crazy. In the yeah. middle of the shopping center, I'd be like doing um chip chip bloody tricks, <laughs> and people are looking at me, and I'm so, like, what are you looking at? I still do this. <laughs> what are you so at? I guess like, <laughs> I I still do this. Where this where random. this kind of falls, I don't know, yeah. like. I don't want, obviously I've sort of put this out there of this things we do as well. I don't want to minimize Tourette's in the sense of, I guess these, these things that we're talking about are more habit driven things. Whereas there's an uncontrolled, like there's no real reason why they have their tics behind, like there's nothing behind it. No, like, no, I really wonder saying? if it's linked to, um, the, that sort of habit behavioral yeah. cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Like I and I don't know if it says this, Emma. Do, do, do people with Tourette's typically develop like more ticks as they get older? I believe so. Or, so it's I, not a case where like this is my tick, this is what I have, that's all I'll ever have. Like I think is, it's, is there normally a case where they have more? Hmm. I'm not. A ha I can't answer that with a hundred percent certainty. But I think a lot do develop more ticks as they as they get older. Um. But that's not to say that some might only have like one. So I'm not sure. Yeah, like um, I, yeah I wonder if there, I don't know if I ever, I say this, I don't know. I don't know anyone in my personal life with Tourette's. I know I've come across people with it, but I don't, I can't, I imagine like having it, one tick is probably rare. On this but website, I, this is it an says ignorant that, statement. But. Yeah, it says that most people experience the worst tick symptoms in their early teens. Oh. So the idea is then uh, after that, it, it's not as extreme. Mm. Most uh, people oh. with Tourette's. So it could be tied to hormonals as well, like hormonal balance. Again, they said that. <clears throat> this they is like, I'm really reaching here, but just the, for me, like the way the habit loop worked, you know, the trigger process reward. Yeah. Like the way the guy just tried to describe, he has like a pressure in his foot and he has to move it. Like the pressure is the trigger, right? The reward is he moves his foot and then he gets, uh, the process he moves his foot and the reward yeah. is... Uh, he gets a relief of sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you have you develop a tick and it's so deeply rooted in you, 
and that process isn't habits aren't a conscious process that's something that happens yeah. like sort of in the background i can i can see how you could almost call it like a scale where everybody has it slightly and then there's sometimes it could get out of control but i'm just trying i'm just read like very quickly like a description of how it all works and stuff and it hasn't said that specifically so i don't want to say that's what it is because you'd think mm. you know they would link it to that quite quickly because it's a very easy way to describe it but it does seem to be along that path you know like trying to suppress that i i think this is a good point to remind everyone that we just share thoughts and opinions we not yeah yeah 100 <laughs> percent um this article not this article this thing that i um looked up is called from it's from plugged no it's from the nextweb.com and this person hacked his Roomba, which is a um, vacuum, a vacuum. robot vacuum. So every time it bumped into something, he made it, he, he programmed it so that it'd swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Was it different swear words as well? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I yeah. think there's oh, a clip. Brilliant. I think there's a clip and you can see it in action. <laughs> That's awesome. Is this, is this Wonderlist? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did he do it? I do that to <laughs> I get one of them to do it. <laughs> but the thing is... He's got Samuel L. Jackson and then a Roomba like covering his face. So, you know, in um, Pulp Fiction, yeah. he's always swearing all the time. Yeah. yeah but the thing is, right, it says that to be able to do this, to program it to swear, he had to remove parts of the robot that actually cleaned the floor. <laughs> so now... Yeah. <laughs> so he rubbed a swearing Roomba in a clean floor. <laughs> It, the Roomba goes around and swears like a drunk pirate, but doesn't do any cleaning at all. <laughs> so, so he's not. <laughs> so it's like having me in the house. That makes it even better. <laughs> 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 a robotic CJ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I actually have a Roomba. Oh, are you, are you going to do this? I saw your post on <laughs> that. I, I, I'm yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not sure what I like more: clean floors or a swearing <laughs> room. Like, Max I'm, is looking I'm at like now, sure. right now, going, mm, "That would be funny." I can't watch this video. <laughs> oh, oh no! Every time I try to watch, every time honest, I try to watch it, it, it sends like, me to a Facebook f spam page. I really want to see this. Have you, see, have you ever seen them in action? Have you seen the Roombas in action? No. Yes, and they go back to their docking station when they need to charge. Yeah. Yeah, but there's sometimes it will hit the wall like ten times in five seconds. It would just be like dum 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb in those dumb dumb situations. Dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do your next article, Maxi. Okay, so my article is about a company called Beyond Meat. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this company before? No. 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 Okay, Alexander Alex is nodding says his head, yes. so that means three no's yes. and one yes. And I don't know if that's because of our local, like our, our resident in vegan. the world, or just. I, it's oh, yeah, because and Alex of, it's because vegan. of my diet. Okay. Um, have you, uh, okay, so beyond, let's explain what Beyond Meat is first. So basically Beyond Meat is this burger, which is made completely from plant-based, uh, food, but the result is it is remarkably like actual meat. So the beef burgers are one sort of that is they sort of promote the most at the moment, or the one I hear about the most at least. And there's vegans, which don't like eating it because it's so much like the real thing. Oh um, yeah. And uh, so basically they're saying like this could actually be the replacement for meat and it solves all the problems with carbon emissions, animal welfare, health, and maybe there was one more, can't remember. Anyway, oh. um, they've recently like made it public on the New York uh, Stock Exchange and the evaluation is just like went crazy. Did you see the price? I, think I didn't. I didn't see that bit. 3.8 billion. Current, yeah, oh. currently 66 a share. 66 a share but like the value to make put that into perspective for like what it's worth overall which is a 3.8 billion dollars for a company which billion. is just selling uh burgers um but just to like it's not it's not a small company that has been going like i don't know how old it is but it's got a presence in the u.s it's got a big presence it sells it in norway already in a lot of europe and i think it's good if you're on the website i had a look and there's it's it's global already it's not like a where new does company. it wow. sell it when you say it sells it where like it, have they got so their in, own like burger joint in 
in the US, it's stocked in like just supermarkets, so you can buy it and then cook it yourself at home. But in Norway at the moment, it's there's a few different burger places, burger joints that sell it as an alternative. Oh. Okay, to their, uh, I yeah. noticed. Have there you was... tried it, Alex? Yeah. Oh, what have you, you? It's incredible. Does it taste like meat? But do you... Yeah. Does it taste like what? meat? What? Oh my so God. I tried it, but I thought it tasted like meat. But when I like, but this is, I wouldn't do this with a normal burger, right? Because I was testing it, the waters. It tastes <laughs> like, when I take the first bite, it tastes like meat. But then I was like pressing it with my tongue and stuff. And the way it like broke down in my mouth was dif- slightly different. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So but you it would look out at the same like time. You know it's different, but if you're if, if you gave like, it to someone and they didn't know you were giving them that, I don't think they would analyze it to that extent. Yeah. Well, I I watched a video because there's a video that you guys can watch as well. We put the link, but it says um, that if you were to serve this at a barbecue, most people wouldn't even realize it wasn't real beef because yeah, I agree with they that. so they use beetroots to make the color look realistic. Um, I don't know how they do that. They extract the beetroot color somehow. And then they try and identify what molecules make meat the way it is and try and match those molecules that you find in plants to make it as realistic as wow. possible. Wow. Um, okay. But I didn't realize Ooh. it actually fully tasted like meat. So can I just two so, points? Two points? Go on. When you said that vegans don't like the taste of this because it, it's so similar to meat, that's freaking. That must be. No, not not. They don't like the taste of it. They don't like the idea of it. Yeah. Oh, the idea Which of it. I was thinking. No, that some of them. Some of them don't like the taste of it. There's reviews that say they don't like the taste of it. Oh, okay. Like, oh. I know, yeah, I know people. It's a bit who like me like saying it. this. This for a vegan. Remember, if they're that like they're really. This is their principle. That's not like me saying this tastes exactly like human flesh. Try and eat oh. that. You're like, oh, it's not okay. human flesh. It's plant. But, but this okay, is how yeah. human I, flesh feels to eat. Say, so I know a lot of people who don't <laughs> like. V- they don't like the whole principle of trying to make vegan foods replicate meat. That's what I was going to Not, say. Nothing to do with taste, just from a... Okay, but like, there is a, another branch. There's lots of different branches that don't yeah, like it, yeah, and there's yeah. lots of branches that are going to like it. So there's people yeah. that so, don't care about animal welfare, but do care about their own health, and plant-based products, people would argue, is more healthy than meat. Uh, there's the obviously the vegans, and then there's people that just want to try an alternative, like out of curiosity like there's loads of things reasons why people do and don't like it it's quite a controversial it um, is yeah. product really yeah which is really good for its own promotion like, yeah yeah massive. there's so many like when you look at the media there's so many different articles from all over the world talking about this product which is quite a hard thing to do so dev you had another point um, are the, do you remember? There's, there's only um, there's something similar like this. A fast food restaurant similar. It's called Soul Burger. And I didn't know <laughs> that it was just um, plant food, plant based. What? Right? What are you talking about? Soul Burger. Right. No. I thought Soul Burger meant that it was like soul food. Soul food. Right. So I went in there and I started to look at the menu and I was like, it says chicken, but then it doesn't say. There's any chicken in it, right? What? I'm like, and oh, hang on. Is this Soul Origin? No, Soul Burger. Oh, I was so, you exploded my brain because I thought you were talking about Soul Origin. I was like, what? But when I had the burgers at Soul Burger, it, it tasted like chicken and it tasted like. Um, is, uh, that, is that the place you wanted to take, take me? Yeah, I wanted you to try. It's, it was all plant based. Where food. is it? In Para. It's in Parramatta. Parramatta, in Church Street. Wow. But I've never tasted Beyond Meat. So, so there's no meat know. in the burgers at all. No meat. Okay. No meat. So yeah. if you look, I, I'm exposed to this because I eat a plant-based diet. I don't. I don't claim to be vegan because uh, there's a lot of the controversy of lifestyle versus diet. So <laughs> let's just say plant-based diet. I means like on social media, for example, I follow a lot of plant-based pages. I follow a lot of vegan pages, all this kind of stuff. So I see a lot of this news, and I see a lot of what's going out and especially when new products are released, like whenever a new product's released, I hear about it, I see it. Um, And when you look at the alternatives that are out there, like there's so many coming out. Like there's, uh, I just saw one yesterday about a new bacon alternative that's coming out. And like, when you look at it, it looks like bacon. I've not eaten it or whatever. I've had um, vegan sausage rolls, which tastes just like a normal sausage roll, like all these different things. Now my question 
to you guys as meat eaters, not so much to Maxi because he's pescatarian. Um, I didn't know that is either. That, is that a recent thing, Maxi? Uh, no, I've been doing it longer than Alex. But I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not a very... I eat meat now and again. I probably eat meat once a month. Okay. And I eat fish twice a week, maybe. Okay. So if it comes out, you know, because the way things are got like... The way the food industry is going now, it's hugely going towards a plant-based direction this year, particularly. Um, a lot of things, a lot of companies are recognizing, like all the main main chain fast food restaurants have all released a burger this year that is plant-based. Yeah, um, Hungry and Jacks. And I see their menus going oh, that yeah, way as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see that one. So if, if the alternatives burger. do get to the point where they are indistinguishable from a taste perspective... Would you switch to a plant-based diet? Hundred percent. That was very quick. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't have to think about it. Hundred percent, I would very, because very cows in particular are one of the worst for carbon emissions. Is that the right one? Carbon emissions. Uh, I don't know. Is yep. that is that right? Yep. Are you talking about? Yep. Are you talking about from from the cow or from the production of? Both, but food. from the cow, <laughs> like cows and as methane. the main, yeah, the food cow's methane and everything else. Um, so we kind of try and try. So yours to is do. more from an environmental. Mine's like environmental. You would do it from an environmental stance point, more than animal welfare. Yes. Or health. Or well, mine's one more. What's mine, the other one? Mine would be health. Mine would be health. If so I was would, to do it, it'd you, be health. Would you switch? Um, okay. I. I always flirt with the idea of just being vegetarian. So I guess having this would probably push me even more mm. likely to do it. Because I do, I do miss, uh, miss the, the just like putting your teeth in a it's juicy. Yeah. I do miss that. So if it replicates that, then I guess, I guess why not? Because eh? like, I, I was way healthier when I was just on a purely vegetable diet. Carbs and vegetables. And I was like, I was thinking quicker, I was moving quicker, I just felt better. So for my body, it'd probably be the probably the best thing for me. And also because you work and you have a lot of um, fast food because of where, how you work, where you work, you don't really have access to any microwaves, whatever, so you tend to get takeout, right? Yeah. If they have this in a lot of fast food chains with this option, you probably would choose it. Rather than the quarter pounder, you might go well, for... Well, to be honest, like when we saw on Hungry Jack's when there was a veggie burger, was it? is it a veggie burger? Vegan burger. Vegan burger. That didn't appeal to me straight yeah. away. Oh. Like I didn't I didn't go to Hungry Jack's and go, oh, vegan burger. Oh, yeah. Nah. I wanted no. to But then is that, because, is that because your instinctual thought of it is yes. the quality is not going to be the same? Yes. 100%. Try it next time. Okay. Try it 100%. this week. So this is where this is where I'm I'm sort of I'm I'm asking like I'm not saying now, but as these products come out and as they start to replicate, simulate one minute warning. from that perspective. Yeah. Like CJ, what about you? Would you one minute warning. would you switch? Oh, I heard. Uh, I'm, okay, just, I'm just um, curious. D- depends on um some things I might and some things I might not. Like I still so, wouldn't mind a steak it, <laughs> if they can replicate that. Yeah. 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 The reason the reason I want to ask, and the reason I, I, I like I tend to ask people this anyway, is because my biggest question is if you if you're not because there are people who are like straight up no like no I wouldn't I why I I, I I've asked people why and I've never gotten a, a response that to me makes sense. Like yeah. if you can remove the environmental impact, if you can remove the suffering of animals, if you can remove. Um, what were the other health, ones? Health implications. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely Human the health, health implications. Climate change, global resources, and animal welfare. Those are four. So if you if you can remove like all those issues and still have essentially to you an indistinguishable experience, why would you not do it? You really want to know? Because they don't want to. I'm, I, because people yeah. are stubborn. I mean, I know. Oh. I know why, <laughs> but pe- in terms of a rational as a rational argument, not uh, just because I'm stubborn. Mm. It's just like if you if you have to like just the idea that you have to change. I guess there's effort in that, right? So yeah. there's some form of unknown. You can tell me it's exactly the same, but it's like okay, now I have to buy it in this different section of the supermarket. That is an effort to me. Like, as <laughs> but dumb is, as that. is it an effort? Yeah. Oh, no, it's so not. But I'm saying, I, can, I can probably people. list a lot of things to you, which isn't necessarily a big effort, and you know it's probably good. But you, like as simple as when you go out, have a, a bag for life 
in your pocket the whole time. Like it's very simple and I know I should do it, but I don't always do it still. Right. But then to me, that's different because you have to actively go and do something oh. different. But I'm, t- I'm not, again, I'm not talking about now because right now, a hundred percent it's an effort. Like even this week I said to my boss, I was like, I'm, it's the eff- the difference in effort is starting to grate on me a little bit. Um, but you know, I'm still, I'm going to still do it. But then I'm talking about a point where you go to a fast food restaurant and like, it's just a case of, do you order this or that? You go to the shop, do you pick up this or do you pick up that? For yeah. me, cook it, it's taste. the exact same cooking process. Like it, it, when it's no different, because I believe yeah. it will be that way and probably a lot quicker than a lot of people think as well. I just wonder where the true rationalization of argument like will be. Mm. If, mm. I, if, if I like the taste of it, I'm fine to eat it. Yeah. But there'll be some, st- some things they won't be able to replicate. I think. I and quite like. Are I, see, I don't. Th- I don't think that. I think they will. I think they definitely they, will be they, able to replicate everything. They probably well, just like, hypothetical. Then, yeah. Like, probably. Yeah. I think CJ's saying. That, well, of course, if you give me something exactly the same, yeah, go for it. But I, yeah, we'll wait. Change. Wait till that day. So yeah. what I was thinking like, with this article, and you, when I first saw it, was that this is for vegans and vegetarians. But actually, by the sounds of it, they're looking to just introduce it as a replacement for your regular folk. Then is that right? Yeah. I, my prediction. And I'm not putting a time on this, but my prediction is, and definitely within our lifetimes, is there'll be a point where you have to request meat versus now where you have to request the alter- like the vegetarian or vegan alternative. Where? Okay, Alexander, now let's do your article next, I think. All right, so I have brought one that I've titled Extramarital Attention. Um, so this kind of, in my circle, was big news, but I don't. It's definitely not mainstream news, and it's about Steph Curry, who's a basketball player. His wife, Aisha Curry, um, she was on Red Talk Tables, which is a, I think it's on, based on Facebook. Red um, Table it's a video Talk. platform with Jada Pinkett Smith and Willow Smith, and then Jada's mother, um, and they sit around a table, they invite people, and they discuss things. And Aisha Curry was on there, and she was essentially saying that. She feels lesser than as a woman because since she's been married with Steph Curry and given that he's this NBA superstar with all the attention that he gets and she feels like she doesn't get any attention from males um, and not that obviously she's trying to put herself out there to get attention from males but just as a female who I guess has some self-worth in her appearance she feels... It, it damages her self-esteem with the fact that she's not receiving any male attention, especially bearing in mind how much attention her husband Steph gets get. from females. Um, and I just wanted to bring this to the table. One, because we have a married couple, so you ha- would have a different perspective than the rest of us. We have a man in a relationship who, again, would have a different perspective to then me and Siege. So I, I, I'm curious to like how you guys all just perceive this as a topic and like whether it's something that you deal with or not. How do or, you, you know. how do you deal with that with all the uh, female attention that I, that I get? How yeah. do you deal with? Of zero. <laughs> <laughs> how do you deal with, uh, how do you deal with having a superstar of a husband? I'm like, fire, <laughs> he's mine. <laughs> Because I mean, let's put let's put background <laughs> to this. I don't know if people know. Give me, I'm useless to this. Is it 13, 12 years you've been married? Thirteen. Oh, oh. twelve. Mm. We've been married for twelve, together for fourteen. Been married, yeah. been married for twelve years. So it's similar time frame to Steph and Aisha. Like, is this even a thing? Like, do you do you notice whether people notice you? We don't, I don't go, you don't I, even, I mean, do you think we're us, just talking about different worlds here? Yeah, yeah we're talking about different worlds. Because, I mean, yeah. listen, I've got three children and I barely leave the house unless it's to go to soccer or school or one of the kids' activities. We don't, I haven't been to a club in probably a decade. <laughs> I don't know, a long yeah, time. I don't think it has to be, I don't think it has to be clubs and stuff. Like, okay. Well, I mean, the rest again, of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm just going out with my position, hair like. <laughs> but like I, for example, when I had longer hair, like I was fully aware of the different attention I got. Even though I wasn't, I was in a relationship, I didn't care about the attention. But yeah. I was fully aware of the difference in the attention. And what do you mean? The difference I, like, between not... your, when you had long hair and short hair or the difference between being in a relationship and not? No, when I had long hair, short hair, like mm. I could just tell the difference, but I, but I'm just saying I, I was in a relationship at the time. So I wasn't looking for attention. 
but I was definitely aware of it. So were so you getting more like, attention when your the... hair was long? Or less? less? Way less. Oh, less. less. Significantly less, yeah. Huh. Um, I like but that. I, I, I mean, give you more attention. <laughs> <laughs> and how did that make as, you feel? As a married... <laughs> How did it make me feel? Um, as again, as a, when I was in a relationship, I didn't care. Like I, you know, whatever. Yeah. But when I became single, then I was, and when I, be, when I was single and like, all right, I want to put myself out there. And I was like, yeah, this is sucks. Like I want to cut my hair off. Oh, oh. No, is that it's why? Not like hair off. Yeah. It's not why I cut my hair off. Oh, okay. Um, but. I like it was an immediate difference. Like you left the barber, and hair then hair people were like, "Oh!" <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking. Bearing in mind, I was in a work establishment. Like the attention I got at work changed. Like the next, <laughs> like literally from day to day, like the next day when I came in with short hair. Obviously, there was the. I'm not talking about the. Oh my god, you cut your hair! But I mean, like, I, for example, flirtatious energy, all this different <laughs> stuff, completely <laughs> changed. <laughs> Wow! I think a big afro looks friendly, don't I, they? You I don't got, flirt with those guys. You have, be but friends. I mean, I'm just I'm curious, especially like for people who have been married a long time. Like, I I don't know. I may be I may be ignorant in saying this, but I feel like if people say they they don't notice whether they get attention or not, they're lying. It's, I, I like honestly aware. I can tell you I do not get attention. I but I have lost. I've kind of lost myself. I've kind of lost. Like I'm not in my prime years. <laughs> Basically, to put it mildly, number one, I'm not looking, but number two, I'm a lot bigger and heavier and, you know, than I used to be. I don't really get doled up to go anywhere. So, yeah. Does like, that affect your self-esteem in any way, shape or form? That I don't get attention or the change? Well, I guess they're kind of interlinked by the way you're painting it. No, I don't not getting attention has like i'm not even bothered about that because who cares but yeah like body changes of course yeah but, but why does the body change bother you oh i don't know i think that's something just like oh look at you you didn't used to look like that type thing who said that <laughs> No, that's what I. That's what I think <laughs> in my that. head. Like I, I took a. I want to hit him with a mic stand. <laughs> I took a picture with my kids' soccer team earlier, and someone sent the picture. I was like, "Oh, can we just chop off that side, please?" Like that type of thing. But no, attention-wise, I mean, of course, if someone came up to me in the shopping centre in the supermarket and was like, "Oh, hey, like, what are you doing later?" Like, I'd go. I'd call Dev and be like, "Oh my gosh." Guess what just happened to me? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd be like over the moon, like I still got it. <laughs> but yeah, it, I don't like go looking for it or I don't receive it. So yeah. What about with what about with you, Dev? What if you know, like? Is there any attention change? Do you think this happened? There's there's you notice. You I, care. I'm not in places where I uh, there's a high woman foot traffic traffic of women <laughs> like uh I, I work with a bunch of bunch of blokes and, uh, and we watch nerdy movies <laughs> there's there's no chance i'm interacting like i'm interacting with the coffee lady and she's like 65 <laughs> there's no there's no interaction with any hey, is she giving you to eye she is though the only, the, the only interaction the, is like wolf whistles when they, yeah. when you see them walk past right i'm <laughs> like, taking my teeth off that one <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't even, I don't think I've ever thought about, I don't think I've ever thought about it. No, other than that one, um, singer lady, the Aussie singer, the half below half, um, Aboriginal singer. What's her name? No. Yeah. She, <laughs> she, 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 she gave Emma's him the making, eye. Emma's making this like, there was this, uh, you know, Jessica the, McCartney, wasn't it? Je like Jessica Malboy. Right? Yeah. Oh, before she was famous, before she was famous, yeah. she was at, um. No, it wasn't. I was there. She was already known. Yeah, no, she was in the um, DFO. DFO. Yeah, but she. Emma, I made the story up, but Emma's just gone. I off. was there. No, she, she looked. Oh, maybe she I looked, wasn't there. and I was walking towards, and then she sort of just moved out of the way, and she's like, "Oh, you." And I'm like, "No, you go first. And Emma made it out like, Ooh, "No," Googly. and I was like, "Actually, I, I wasn't about? there." No, I remember. I wasn't there. What are you but talking about your mum and sister corroborated the story that she checked she you out. She was there. One Not minute she warning. Out. She was she there. Out. She did. <laughs> oh, just oh, nobody's but, checking um, you out. Craig David did look into my eyes when I was four lines back at his concert. <laughs> <laughs> 
You looked into your eyes? Yeah, that was the best I moment was. ever. To be honest with you, I, I think it's more flattering. Craig David looked into your eyes than Jessica Melba looked into these. It could have been everyone around me. Everyone's like, he looked into my eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're looking at a portrait painting. You're or like, a poster. Staring right at yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what line was he singing when you looked into your eyes, Emma? Oh, I can't remember. Because his eyes are oh, walking away. What about you, um, Maxie? Like, no. <laughs> what about you and um, Melody? Because you guys are actually young. You go out, you're very sociable. So it'd be different <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> I, I, I forgot you guys what that's like. like you're not... I know Emma thinks she's like a hundred every time. <laughs> I'm climbing. But, but, like I've climbed. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, Melody's turning me into a person that gets more attention now from girls. Like oh, because mm. beforehand, like I didn't. My appearance wasn't a big thing, and my uh, yeah. So now, like I wear better clothes. I tend to have a better haircut. I look after like my skin, like I have psoriasis. It used to be in my face a lot. I, you can barely see it now. And it's mainly because of the habits I built with her. Yeah. So I actually get more attention now than I did before. Hmm. I know, it's kind of, a, but in my head, it's like, if I get the attention, it just validates that I am good enough for melody, if that makes sense. Mm. So I'm like, oh, yeah. that is Girls so sweet. Interested, so, yeah. so in my head, I wouldn't want to get to a stage where I don't, don't get any attention. Because then I feel like, oh, have I lost it? And does that mean Melody also find me less attractive? Because she's not going to say Aww. anything. So what you touch mm. on there, I'm sure that's aligned with what Aisha's talking about as well. When you think about from her perspective that many women are throwing themselves at Steph, she doesn't get mm. any male attention. She there's probably a big element of why, like, why would he stay with me yeah. then? Like, he yeah. could have yeah. all these other women. Yeah, and For probably sure. all the other women are like probably Instagram models or whatever who get a lot of attention that are throwing themselves at him. So she's like, yeah, if he's, she can't exactly if he's do smart, that. Alex, if he's smart, like, he, and he seems pretty smart, then you like you get to a point where you know that uh, it's more than the physical, right? And she was always there at from the start. And like sometimes, like, like loyalty and other attributes are way more important than than the physical. So like as much gonna, as these, I'm gonna these... try to find this. He he responded just so you know. Oh. oh. He posted. I'm gonna try to find it. It's, it's hard to find these things. He posted on his Instagram story. Um, it was a picture of them, and he wrote a caption on top of it. I can't find it, but he was basically defending everything she said. Um, that I don't, I don't perceive him to be the type to step outside of that anyway. Yeah. Um, so I think what you're saying is spot on describes him. Yeah. But, uh, even, I guess like, even if you know that about your partner, like I'm talking from her perspective now, even if you know that about your partner, there's still, it's, you're, can you ever be sure of anything? What do you, you know mean? What I mean? Even if you know what I, about I, your partner. I, I always tell Ems, I always tell Ems that um, she's still like the most beautiful person that she I've ever seen. She does. And I like, I always really I totally that with her. don't believe like, like, Oh, guys. Or, like, you lied to me when you said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say that, like, and I always uh, point out um, the, the attributes that are so positive with Emma and that. And I keep telling her that. And no matter, like, you're right, Alexander, no matter how many times you can only do so much, the, Emma has to start believing it in herself. That she is... Sh All right, enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, though. You know what I mean? Like, I can only say so much, and then it's just... Mm -hmm. And then it just becomes white noise. You know what I mean? It just becomes just yeah. part of the... What about you, Dev? You, you just know your shit hot. You're like... Oh, he's com his confidence <laughs> is through the roof, like, this one. The reason... <laughs> I, I feel like I'm, get, I'm pain being painted a certain way. Look, the reason why... <laughs> The reason why I love myself so much, and I've said this, I've said this so many times, you have to love yourself. You have to start there. You have to start there. Yeah. And then for me, if I love myself and there's extra love to give, I can just pass that around. But if I'm half full of love, how can I pass shit around? I'm going to give like half a liter. I've only got half a liter and I'm passing shit. I need to be at full capacity. And you know overflowing. I mean? And I, like when you leave the gas 
the gas nozzle too long in the frigate and it starts flowing out, you start getting a bucket. You go, you get fuel. You get fuel. <laughs> Here's love for you. Everybody gets love. <laughs> love it. Preach. You need to jump on the table. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. bell.